Mike. Come over. I really don't have time today. Come over now. I don't think I have too much in common with boxing legend Mike Tyson, but it does seem we both love spending time with our dogs during quarantine. <laughs> It appears these days Mike has been holed up in his beautiful Las Vegas mansion. With all of his success over the years, the man has afforded himself gorgeous properties all over. Nice. <laughs> nice, guys. We'll take a look at a few places Mike has lived, like his abandoned Ohio mansion that's now a church, his current place in Nevada, and more. We even found some of the listings. Mike Tyson is a former professional boxer who competed from 1985 to 2005. He reigned as the undisputed world heavyweight champion from 87 until 1990 and was the first heavyweight boxer to hold the WBA, WBC, and IBF titles at the same time. Mike also holds the world record as the youngest boxer to win a heavyweight title. Basically, the man's a legend. Mike has been boxing for decades on and off again. He's had his fair share of media coverage too, whether it was his stint in prison years back or for the infamous ear biting accidents. He was known for his ferocious and intimidating boxing style and his controversial behavior inside and outside the ring. It's more nerve-wracking for me to hear it's talking to a rat piece of shit like oh, you. Oh, come on, Mike. Whatever way you spin it, Tyson is still considered one of the best heavyweights of all time. With Mike's success, it's said that he would have accrued over $300 million throughout his boxing career, but ended up losing it all. Forbes claims his total career earnings could have been as high as $685 million these days, but he declared bankruptcy in 2003. At the time, the media reported he was about $23 million in debt. As of 2020, Mike's net worth is only at an estimated $3 million, but he still lives in a pretty nice mansion, I gotta say. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We're gonna take a look at where boxing legend Mike Tyson calls home, like his current Vegas estate, and some of his previous mansions including the one in Ohio they've since transformed into a church. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on the likes of Joe Rogan and Conor McGregor and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat and as usual let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. I don't know about you guys, but I think abandoned mansions are equal parts creepy and cool. So I figured, why not take a look at one Mike Tyson used to live in? The palatial residence has since been turned into a church, but back in its prime, Mike had it decked out with chandeliers and tiger cages. In Southington, Ohio, about 50 miles from Cleveland, essentially in the middle of nowhere, you'll find Mike's previous mega mansion. This is the place he'd lived in since the 1980s up until he had to go to prison. Because of his financial problems in 1999 after going to jail, he was forced to sell his Home. The following owner of the home, a wealthy TV marketer, also ended up going to jail and never even lived in the house. Although the place changed hands a couple times since Tyson, it said that the property was donated to the Living Word Sanctuary and they made plans to turn the former party pad into a house of worship and youth center. But before this 5.8 acre property became a place of worship, it was quite the lavish home once upon a time. Mike lived and partied in his Ohio mansion for quite a few years and inside it spanned 19,500 square feet with with five beds and seven baths, as well as an additional 6,000 square feet in the basement. In Mike's day, the mansion included lavishly decorated rooms with crystal chandeliers throughout, a full kitchen and a mini kitchen, and a pool bigger than some houses. On the floors, some rooms had zebra print carpets while others had red. The structure was amazing, the rooms were massive, and there was a ton of light flooding through the windows. Not to mention his mansion boasted tiger cages for his three bangles that cost him 70k each, and an indoor pool with a sundae bar as well as a jacuzzi. Also on the property, there was a basketball court which remains there to this day. Although the boxer sold the place for just over a million, it remained abandoned for years and years. Now in the hands of the church, the dilapidated pool inside has since been turned into a sanctuary, while the living room is a gathering place. The old fireplace has since been turned into an indoor waterfall, while the four bay garage is now classrooms and a nursery. And the tall steel cages where Mike kept his tigers, now these have been dismantled for a pavilion. Now let's take a look at another mega mansion Mike once called home, which most recently came on the market for $8.5 million. I am Mike Tyson, this house you're about to look at is on the 6th Congressional Hole, and uh, I lived here for around 10 years. Located in Bethesda, Maryland, the home was owned by Monica Turner, Mike's ex-wife. 
The couple bought the place together around 95 and lived there until the 2000s according to Mrs. Turner, who kept the house post-divorce. The property is located about 30 minutes from Washington DC and overlooks the Congressional Country Club golf course. It's described as a gated compound located on a private cul-de-sac in the residential enclave of the Greens, one of Montgomery County's most sought after neighborhoods. It's definitely a trophy home and inside spans 18,244 square feet with 7 beds and 11 and baths. The home was built back in 1988 by Robert Shatner and since Miss Turner, a medical doctor, said she's expanded the property quite a bit over the years, even adding an adjacent lot and extension to the home itself. Beyond the front gates of the Maryland home, there's a circular motor court and three car garage. Iron and glass stores welcome guests into a sun filled greeting hall with double height ceilings, floor to ceiling windows and skylights. The newly remodeled interior includes large entertaining areas, a three story spiral staircase, gourmet kitchen, living and dining rooms, and a fully equipped butler's pantry. Miss Turner added a three-story addition and increased the mansion size by over 4,000 square feet. The top floor of the home became the Lux Master's suite with sitting area, wet bar, fireplace, and terrace. Not to mention the master bath has a separate soaking tub and shower. Other features of the home include an elevator that serves all three floors, a games room, a music room, a gym, and a cherry wood paneled library with wet bar and fireplace. The living spaces continue outside and feels like a five star resort with multiple terraces all over. The recreation level according to the listing has a heated pool and spa, sports court, sauna, steam shower, change room, billiards room, and tap room slash bar, perfect for throwing parties. Miss Turner also says that the Tyson estate was a fun place for her children to grow up. Well, I can see why because what doesn't the place have? Apparently these days, Mike's current home is located in Henderson, Nevada, just 10 minutes from the action of the Las Vegas Strip. According to listing materials, the mansion is an Italian style masterpiece valued at over 3 million which Tyson bought back in 2016. Found behind the gated community of Seven Hills, where there's a private golf club and number of leisure parks for the affluent residents, Mike and his wife are known faces in the neighborhood. In fact, they've lived in Vegas since 2008 and his previous home, as seen in The Hangover, is just around the corner. Mike bought this one simply because it's bigger. The two story mansion built in 2001 opens to a double height foyer with marble floors and a sweeping iron staircase. The home spans over 8,000 square feet with 6 spacious beds and 6 baths throughout. Among the common areas, there's a living room with vaulted ceilings and walls of windows, a great room and office, and a family room with a moon shaped wet bar. The chef's kitchen is equipped with designer appliances, a second wet bar, and a wine closet. All of the bedrooms here are suites with private bathrooms and large closets. Mike's master suite is the height of comfort, with an attached bath offering a huge step up soaking tub and a private balcony. If that's not enough, the the property has a full guest house complete with kitchen, living room and bedroom, and a second casita for staff quarters. The outdoor features of Mr. Tyson's Vegas pad are just as lavish as you'd expect, offering resort style swimming pool and spa, outdoor kitchen, fountains and statues for added decoration. For the cooler evenings, there's also an outdoor fireplace to lounge by. So now we've taken a look at boxing legend Mike Tyson and his homes over the years. Well, some of them anyways. Aside from his current Vegas mansion, he lived at some other beautiful properties there since 2008 like I mentioned. After seeing his Vegas home, his previous Maryland estate and the Ohio mansion turned church, which was your fave? I think seeing his once abandoned Ohio party pad from the 80s was the most interesting to me. Something so eerie about those photos from when the place was deserted. It looks like a lot of wild parties went down there too. So does the creepy abandoned house count as a fade? I'm saying it does for me. Not to mention, I think it's sweet they're using the property for a good cause now and I like what they've done with it. Anyways, be sure to let me know down in the comments as well as whose house tour should be up next. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat. Be sure to like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!